We all have data we care about, whether it's important work documents or photos from your recent holiday. It can be easy to overlook the need to create backups for this data, especially among people who aren't confident with technology. In this video, we're going to look at the best backup solution anyone can use to ensure they never lose the data important to them. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. One of the best backup solutions out there, and the one I use personally, is known as the 3 2 1 method. Three copies of data, two different storage media, and one off site backup. Let's look at each in more detail. Let's start with the three copies of data the original and two copies of it. This ensures your data is protected from accidental deletion or the failure of the storage device the original is stored on. Imagine letting a friend borrow your laptop only to find out they accidentally deleted your entire photo library when they were trying to tidy up your desktop. Or perhaps your phone is lost and your entire collection of work documents are saved on it. If two other copies exist, nothing is lost. This is because these copies are stored on different devices, which brings us to the second part of the 3 2 1 backup method, which is two different types of storage media. This could mean having one copy of your data on your laptop and another on a removable USB drive, external hard drive, or micro SD card. Again, this is simply protecting you from the failure of one method of storage. If you buy two of the old spinning hard drives common in older devices at the same time and store a copy on each, there's definitely a chance of them deteriorating and failing at a similar time in the future. This would leave you with only one copy and a limited amount of time to get a replacement before the other drive fails. If however you've stored a copy on a hard drive and an SD card, the chances of both storage methods failing at one time are extremely slim. Moving on to the one part of the 3 2 1 method, and that is one off-site backup. This may seem like overkill and something only large companies need to do with their data, but in today's world, cloud backup solutions are accessible to everyone. Apple's iCloud, Microsoft's OneDrive, and Google Photos are excellent choices. Your photos or data are stored on servers in the provider's data center somewhere else in the world, meaning using a cloud storage service counts as an off-site backup. Having an off-site backup, such as the cloud services we've mentioned, mean you're protected in the unlikely event you have a fire at home or your house is burgled. If your storage media at home is stolen or destroyed, a copy of your data sits unharmed on a server somewhere else in the world. If you want to learn how long the expected lifetime of your current storage method is, I've left a link to my video on that in the description. I've also left links to some of the storage media I use personally for backups in the description. I will earn a small commission from these at no extra cost to you. Which backup solution do you use and why? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.